Hey there, cool cats. It's me, Dee, and welcome to my first ever gaming video. And for today's video, it is the Final Cut Theme Fatale, Collector's Edition. Now, Collector's Edition means that there's a little bonus game at the end of after finishing the main game. So I will be doing that as well. Um, if you, if this is the first video you've seen uh, on my channel, uh, welcome, and uh, make yourself comfortable, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, but for those of you who have been following me for a while, you might be wondering, oh, I didn't know you were a gaming channel. Um, honestly, no. I'm just doing this for fun, and I like these games so much that I just want to record myself playing it because I want to share that kind of experience with others and especially friends and stuff, so it's just something fun that I might pick up. I might not actually finish, like, games just because of subscribers or whatever, I'm just doing this because I like to do it. And it's also going to be my first try, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, this is a point and click hidden object kind of game, and I love these games for many reasons. As you can see here, I already have a profile, Black Cat, that's me. And so this is not really a blind playthrough, you could say, I guess, because I have played this before, but it's just been a really long time. So I might like be really fast and really quick to do stuff, and I'll try my best to, uh, you know, clue you guys in. Uh, I'll just teach you guys along the way, so I hope you enjoy. Let's play. We're going on easy because that means there are no penalties when you're clicky 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 all together. Um, because medium, you will get penalties if you click on the wrong stuff too much. So we're just gonna go on easy mode. Yes, thank you. Let's go. Yep, gotta wait a little bit. Oh yeah, I have to apologize. Um, because I I have no idea how to get rid of the mouse from the game cursor, so I really apologize if that annoys you too much. Good morning. Good morning. I'm looking for an investigator who can be discreet. They'll be it concerns a friend. That's what they all say. She's hiding something, and I know it's big. She's not that accessible, but you might have an opportunity at the festival. Don't worry, we're almost there. How did I get here so quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no tutorial, thank you. I will teach here you, you how are, to do things. The festival is about to begin. Thank you. Good luck, and don't forget your past. Thank you. Such a gentleman. New objective, find your festival invitation. Alright, so look at this. Look, it's so pretty. Like, this is one of the reasons why I love hidden object games so much. Especially, like, the really well-made ones. Because it's just the graphics. They're so pretty. Like, it may not be top-of-the-line graphics. Not like, you know, Final Fantasy or those kind of games. But the art and the graphics itself have a certain charm to it. And it's not just all, you know, still images and stuff there, like, you know, slightly moving, giving a little bit of life to it. Alright, so basically this is your inventory bar. You will collect stuff and you will put things here, and, um, yeah, there will be, like, your cursor will change into a question mark, and this is where your thoughts appear. I shouldn't leave the van without the festival invitation. Alright, and when you hover over things that you can interact, it will turn into a monocle. As so, yeah, look at that. Check out that close up. Oops, where did I leave the key? I don't know, maybe it's with this guy. Let's check. Open the envelope. Meet me in the VIP area. I've provided a festival invitation. You'll have to verify it first. Veronica M. Alright, and we have a little key. Why the secret of tone? I suppose I'll find out soon enough. Cha -ching. Also, I love the fact that a lot of these hidden object games, they either make the protagonist or you 
a female or just really vague on your gender. So that means like both. You 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 can play like both without feeling uncomfortable or whatever. I don't know. Cause I know some people get really peeved when they're like, oh, protagonist is always a guy, you know? And women can be investigators too. Hell yeah, I agree with that. And that's why I love it so much. What am I doing? I kind of... Okay, uh, okay, yeah. As you can see, I, <laughs> I told you, it's, it's been a while since I've played this, so I might, I might not remember everything. I got, uh, I got nail clippers for some reason. Button is stuck. Maybe I can pry it up with something thin. Okay, so that gives us a premise for actually looking for stuff. So as you can see here, right, look at that. Okay, so you have a bunch of items that you have to look for, such as boop, headphones. Yep, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, I keep telling people, oh wait, what is this? Not all of the train cars are here. What train car? Oh, I see it now. Okay. Um, right. I keep telling people that these hidden object games are like a really awesome way of building your vocabulary. Like, um, I'm from Malaysia, so uh, most of the population here, their first language is not English. It's Malay. And, and we're, we're like a whole bunch of mixed races. We have Chinese, we have Indians, Malays, and then other races like the Dayak or indigenous people. All right, but basically the uh, first language is not English. Um, so I keep telling people, and um, I taught public speaking for a semester just recently, and I even told my students like, you know, this is a great game for you to build vocabulary because not only do you build vocabulary from you know looking at the items here because there are some games which uses complicated words or words that I've not ever been familiar with and it it moved me to pick up a dictionary and to like kind of find out what it is and stuff so oh okay I forgot you need this too um, so yeah that, so that's what I'm saying and it's it, it's uh, coupled with puzzle games, so it makes you think, you know? So that's what I like. Okay, first you gotta put the tea bag, and then you put the hot water. Okay. Yeah, I've forgotten a couple things. So, yeah. Basically, you know, that's that's one of the reasons why I like these games. It's a puzzle game, you know, when I'm, when I'm really bored and stuff, and I have nothing to do. This is what I play. I play uh, hidden object games. I've not actually been paying attention to what I'm doing in this game. I've just been talking this whole time, and I'm like not. I'm just clicking randomly. Uh, okay. Now I'm paying attention, and now I'm actually looking for the last photograph. Oh, there you are, sneaky thing. And there you go! Oh, okay. We need this bag? Alright, that's probably my bag. Yeah! Aw, yeah. 360? Thank you. Alright, so if you see a little plus sign at this item, it means you can uh, inspect your object a little more. Oh, I got a candy bar. That's awesome. And a festival invitation, that's what we wanted. So now we can go out the car. Because the car is actually a possessed being that wouldn't let us out without the invitation. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Oh, you're not photographing me? Well, you're missing out. All right, that was Audrey Quinn. She's stunning in person. Alright, so basically we need to get in there, right? <laughs> Should be easy, right? Alright? Nope, it's not. It's never that easy. Okay, this means that you can talk to the person. May I see your VIP pass? Um, I have a festival invitation? Hmm. Does that work? This pass needs to be verified. Oh, right. Yeah, see the lady the at the registration tent. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Balvin. Just look at 
Alright. No way I'm putting my hand in there without some protection. Yeah. Don't go in without protection. That's what I always say. That's why I never say that. Ooh, little thing. Box tokens. Uh, another reason why I... Who would dismantle such a nice fountain? I don't know. Who? Who would be? Who? Um, another reason why I like these puzzle games is that you have to do a lot of backtracking. Not a lot of people like backtracking, which means it's like after you go to a new area, you might probably have to come back to the beginning to fix all these puzzles here, alright? Not a lot of people like that, but I don't know why. I, I kinda like that. Unless... Listen, oh. I can't leave this tent. I can't leave this but tent. But I'm dying for something to eat. Oh. It's been a long day. Would you mind? Well, sugar, I have the perfect thing for you. You just hold on there, okay? Alright, uh, um, what I was about to say. I was about to, oh, right. Um, I like backtracking as long as it's not overly frustrating. Like, there have been games where I just, ugh, I felt like punching my laptop screen and stuff. Maybe this year's festival will be the chance for us to pry out some juicy details. Oh, okay. That got me a, a, a pin? Thingy? A hairpin. Okay. Alright, so we can give this candy bar to her. Because she's super hungry. But that's not enough. I think... If I'm not mistaken, I think we need to give her something to drink. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, so this cooler is actually a hint, because if you guys remember, there was the same one in the car. Thank god this guy is still here, he's just waiting for us so we'll be near he doesn't even know how long we're gonna be here. So I just used the hairpin that we found just now to unlock the cooler. And we got a glass. We got a glass. And with that, if you remember, this is supposed to be a fountain, and we found a little elephant head here. And so this goes there, and voila, we get water. Cool, cold, refreshing water. Got that right. So, we got a glass of water. Gonna give it to this lady here. Whoa, slow down, That's honey. That's perfect. Thank you. Did you just swallow that whole candy bar with the wrapper and everything? God damn. Do you need a toothpick? You're welcome. Now let me verify your pass. Here, take this. And welcome to the festival. Well, thank you, darling. Much obliged. That won't work. Why? Oh, did you verify it already? Oh, not yet. <laughs> she seems much better. What, what, what did I... Oh. See, I, I've really forgotten how to play this game, like, this is all very new- oh god, here's our first puzzle. Why do we have to verify it ourselves? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, another reason why I love these puzzle games is that the logic of it all, just sometimes it just it doesn't make any sense. Any sense whatsoever. But, um, pretty straightforward game, all you have to do is just uh, match the uh, thingies here. I mean, all the, the shapes and the symbols and stuff. You've already got a clue on the side of your box. So that should be helpful. I hope. What am I doing? Why, 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 why can't I move? Oh, okay, right. Okay, so if you notice, there are some that you don't need to move anymore. That's, that's when you know they're in the right position already. So she's got it. No, that's not it. Um, I'm pretty sure these ones uh, belong to the right side because there are no symbols on the right side. So maybe they go here. Yeah, there you go. See, when you put them in the right um, position, they change color and you can't move them anymore. Which is fantastic because I don't want to keep moving the same piece over and over again. Alright, so next one, I want to find a diamond on the left and this thingy on the right. And this one here first. Alright, got one line down. 
Yeah, so why did I do that? That was stupid. Oh no, I got this one. Nah, I wasn't totally stupid. Uh, I mean, nah, I meant to do that. It was on purpose, I swear. Okay. Yeah, so I, I do love puzzle games. I do. I like them a lot. Um, but sometimes they can be very frustrating, especially for you as viewers, especially like you're probably like screaming at the screen right now saying, What's the place for there and stuff? So, don't worry. I got it all under control. I know what I'm doing. See, told you. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so yeah, that's a perfect clue. The ones at the top don't have the symbols at the top as well. So basically all you gotta do is just play around until you get the right ones. And there you go. Uh, what do I do now? Um, do I, do I, I still haven't found all the masks. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, do I have to play match and stuff? <sighs> I just need to stamp the symbols onto the invitation. Like this? Ah, okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, thanks! Much obliged. Alright, so we have done that absolutely unnecessary um, puzzle and now we can give our ticket to this guy and he will let us enter hell yeah right we're so. not doing this in public Audrey you've had a few too many oh. she just glitched get inside oh my god she's a glitch I need answers. Find out what's going on between Audrey and her escort. Harassment, probably. Okay, I just picked up a velvet glove. Don't know why. A lot of cameras here. The lens is loose. I'll need a special tool to remove it. Okay, so we're gonna come back here and find a tool. Looks like the screw requires a special key. I gotta take note of all this. Hmm. Oh, it's here. Also, something round is missing from a seashell. Probably a pearl. Gotta find me a pearl. Gotta steal me a pearl. Be like, excuse me, lady, I need your pearl because I need to unlock a cabinet. If someone tore out the cord, they'll need a replacement. Okay. Well, since I can't do anything here, so we'll just move. Hey! There you are, and not a second too soon. Audrey and her friend went upstairs. Try to follow them without drawing too much attention to yourself. Alright, I get it. I will. Alright, you know what? This this actually like needs a lot of snooping around, but I think I'll cut the video here and we'll continue in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoy that little gameplay. I hope you don't mind my uh, overwhelming commentary. It's the first time I've done anything like this. But, yeah, so... Uh... Hope you liked it, because I enjoy doing this and I'll keep on doing it. Until I finish the game, at least. Thank you! Have a nice day!